Please go to elithecomputerguy.com in order to view schematics, code, and more for the projects that you are learning about. Welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use TOP. TOP is essentially a task manager for the Linux operating system on the command line. Uh, basically, task manager in the Windows world. If you open up task manager, you can see how much uh, this, of the CPU is being used. You can see how much of the RAM is being used. You can see what processes are using CPU and RAM, uh, what users are using those processes, so on and so forth. So basically, all TOP is is a task manager that is included with Linux that you can use at the command line. Now it is important to understand when I show you the demonstration today that I will be showing you the simple things that you can be doing with TOP. TOP is one of those pieces of software that's included with Linux uh, that can actually get complicated uh, rather quickly, but most people don't really need to worry about all those complicated tasks. So what I'll be doing is I'll be simply get, be giving you a very simple overview of how to use TOP, again, to be able to go in, to be able to locate processes, to see uh, how much resources they're utilizing, and then be able to force quit those processes if need be. To be clear, there is a lot more to top, but when I was looking at how to teach this particular piece of software, I think if I go too deep, it will confuse people. And so that, that's no good for, for any of us. So with that, let's go over to the computer um, and I will show you how to use top and I'll show you why it is so valuable when you're trying to maintain your Linux systems. So here we are back at my Ubuntu server. So I have my Ubuntu server running within a virtual machine on VirtualBox. I'm currently using 18.04.3 LTS, but top should basically work on anything, I think. Uh, so again, whatever distribution you're using, top should work for you. Uh, so you will notice um, I have a bit smaller font than I've had in the last few videos. And one of the reasons for this is just so I can fit everything on the screen. Uh, when you use top, you get a a lot of information and you can kind of scroll around with it using the arrow keys but you know it's kind of it's kind of difficult to teach when you have to scroll around too much on the screen so anyways let's uh, let's dive into this uh, so server login Bob uh, password one two three four five six we hit enter and we log in and there we are we'll let me clear the screen and then from here all you have to do is type in the top command T O P when you type in the top command you then get top and this is basically the task manager uh, for the Linux world. Now, the first thing that we're going to see up here, we see top, uh, then we see what the system time is. So this is the system time, and then we see the uptime. So currently this system has only uh, been, been up and running for 34 minutes. Uh, so this can be useful. This kind of can be useful and it can be kind of interesting, especially with Linux machines, is just to go in and literally see how long that they've been running for. You may be shocked. You may get a long time period up here because again, with Linux, if it's just a web server or a basic type of server, you can have that thing run for a long time and not require a reboot reboot uh, this over here shows one user so that shows how many users are currently logged into the system and that is me Bob uh, then we see this thing called load average this is actually kind of cool but it gets a little wonky to explain all at the same time. So basically what this is, is basically this is the load average on your CPU uh, over, this is over one minute time period, this is over the five minute time period, and this is over a 15 minute time period. So this is an easy way you can go up here and you can get an, a, an idea of what the load on the CPU has been uh, over a bit of a time period. So if the CPU is currently you know, running very fast at 100%, you can get an idea, okay, has this been happening for a full 15 minutes now, or is this just spiking right now for some random reason? So here you can look at the one minute, uh, the five minute average, and the 15 minute average. Uh, so the important thing to understand here is a full one. So if it's 1.00, that means 100%. So 100% of the CPU has been utilized on average over a one minute period. And then the 0.4, this is for the percentage. So if it says 0 0.40, that means 40% of the CPU on average has been utilized for one minute. If it's over here, so 0 0.60, that would be 60% of the... Uh, of the CPU has been utilized on average over a 15 minute span. So you can see the one minute average and the five minute average and the 15 minute average. Why I say, and again, this is one of those things that gets a little bit 
bit wonky, is because these numbers, it's also dependent upon how many uh, cores you have in your CPU. Um, and so this is one of those that if, if it seems like your system is, uh, is, is running into resource constraints and you come up here and you see that this is one or maybe even two, so you can, it, it can actually show that you're trying to use too many resources, so it's trying to grab too much uh, CPU process. If the numbers here are really high, again, I would go into a little bit more research on this, take a look at your particular system, and then do all the math on this. Basically, more or less, when you're looking at these numbers here, they should be significantly less than one. Uh, if they're anywhere close to being one, go and do some Google search and, and learn some more about it. Because again, there's some math with there, with uh, with how many cores you have in your processor, some other things to, to figure out what's actually going on. Uh, past that, down here we see tasks. So we have 87 total, we have one running, 48 sleeping, so on and so forth. Uh, so we see the percent CPU utilization. Uh, so us, us is us, that's for users. So how much of the CPU is being used for users? How much is being used for system? Uh, we come down here, we see memory, uh, how much is free, how much is used, so on and so forth. So this is some basic information up here that you can take a look at. So again, if you see this long number here, uh, basically what this means is that it has a gig. So this is in kilobits, uh, kilobytes. So this is one gig. Uh, of, of memory that I've allocated to this system. Then we come down here and then we can see all of the different processes and the things going on. So we can see the process ID. So the process ID is kind of like the, the social security number, the number that the, uh, the operating system gives to a particular process. So when we go to kill a process, we are actually use that ID. So if we want to kill you know, this particular process, we would type in 2603 and that would kill the process. Uh, past that, you see the user. So currently here, we see a lot of, a lot of root user here we see some system MD again we have different users in the system other than simply root and the user uh, so those are there that can be useful we go across, we can see CPU utilization, we can see memory utilization, time plus, this is how much time that particular process has been running, um, and then we can see the actual command itself. So these are the commands that, that are used to actually run uh, the tasks or processes that we are seeing here. Uh, so that's a basic overview of what you're gonna be looking at when you're looking at top as a task manager. Past this, uh, there's some simple commands. If you need help, all you have to do is you type in H. So lowercase h gives you help. And with help, you come here and I have to say, you get a bit of a mess. <laughs> Again, I know there's man pages and help pages. And Google makes life a hell of a lot easier. Just Google some pages. But this is the basic help page. Uh, and so this might be useful for you to find some, some basic information. Uh, in order to get out of either top or the help page, uh, you use lowercase q. So again, in the Linux world, one of the problems you can run into is how the hell to get out of applications or software you've started. Uh, that's an important thing to understand. In the top world, it is simply lowercase q. So if I click on your lowercase q, I will be out and now I will be looking at top. Now, past this, uh, things that we can do is let's say we're looking for a process, uh, processes by a specific user, right? So I can use the arrow keys. So using the arrow keys, I can scroll down or I can scroll up. And we see root, and we can see system MD plus, we can see daemon, we can see Bob, so on and so forth. So one of the things we can say is like, well, I don't really care about all these other system things. I just want to see what Bob is doing, what tasks, uh, processes are Bob running. So all you do is you type in uh, lowercase u, and then when you type in lowercase u, you then plug in what user you want to see the task for. So Bob, so we're just going to simply type in Bob, then we're going to hit enter. And now we see the processes and tasks that Bob is using. So Bob, uh, we can see here, system ND, top. So that's what we're actually using. We can see that CPU usage, that memory usage. Uh, we can see some of this other information. So basically that is how you go and you take a look at that. Then past that, what we can do is we can uh, simply type the U again, press enter. And let's scroll down and see, I think we have Apache running on the system. So we have Apache here. So we have Apache 2 running. Uh, so let's say, you know, I come in here and I simply just want to get some information on Apache 2. Again, let's say I install Apache 2, things are acting a little bit weird. So I just want to make sure Apache 2 is doing what's supposed to. So with that, I use the O command. So I simply type O, lowercase O, it says add filter. So what I'm gonna do is uppercase command, so what we're looking for is over here, what we're gonna be searching for equals Apache 2. 
and then I hit enter. And now this shows me uh, the processes that are using the command Apache 2. So I can see the user root, uh, user www hyphen data. I can see the CPU usage. I can see the time. I can see all this information. So I can see all the processes then uh, that are using Apache 2 as the command. Now to get out of this, uh, all I have to do is simply hit the equal sign. Hit the equal sign there. Then from that, uh, one of the things that I can do is I can see a parent tree. So I can basically see a tree of all the different processes, uh, what processes are children of other processes. In order to do that, all I have to do is I have to press uppercase V. And so when I hit uppercase V, this now shows us the parent child processes. So we have system MD, that is the, uh, the parent process, and then you have all of the children processes that are underneath. And so we can go down here and we can see all the different parent processes and the children processes to get an idea of how the system is running. So again, we talked about Apache 2 before. So we have Apache 2 here and we can see that we actually have three processes called Apache 2. And so if we wanted to do something such as kill uh, Apache 2 for whatever reason, we will, it was uh, you know, a memory leak or is there some kind of problems going on uh, and we're trying to actually have to figure out how to kill the process, what we want to do is we want to kill the parent process. So we have these three processes here. If we go over, we can see 2198 is, is by root, so that the root user is doing uh, the, the top, the parent process. And so if we are going to try to kill Apache 2 for whatever reason, we would want to be killing 2198. So using V, again, shift V, Shift V, that allows us to look at the parent children processes. So once we're here, uh, the final thing to show you is basically how to kill a process. So let's say we want to kill process 2198 directly from top. So in order to do that, we would hit K, so lowercase K, and then it's asking us what process to kill. We will plug in 2198. But this is going to fail. This is going to fail. The reason that this is going to fail is because uh, we went into top just as a normal user. So a normal user is able to see everything in top, but they're not able to kill processes. You have to use sudo uh, when you use top to kill a process. So if I hit enter right now, it's just going to get this weird error uh, and nothing is going to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Q. So Q quits me out of uh, top, do clear. And then what I will do is I'll do sudo top. So this, this brings us into the top uh, software, uh, but it's as super user, basically as a root level user, I hit enter, password one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now we are in, it's top, it's the same thing that you saw before, uh, but the uh, we're in as a root user. From here, I can then do the K command. I can type in 2198, because that's the PID of Apache, and then I can hit return, Hit enter, and now Apache is dead. So if we scroll through here, now we're not going to be able to see Apache anywhere because it is no longer running. If we do O, we could do command equals Apache 2. We are going to see that we get no results because obviously Apache is no longer running. I hit equal again to get us back to the full screen. And that is a basic overview of how uh, Top works as a task manager on Ubuntu. So that's a basic overview of how to use Top as a task manager within the Linux uh, command line. Uh, again, with many things in the Linux world, uh, you know, Top can do a thousand more things than I showed you today. But realistically, this is what you're going to use top for. You're going to go into top, you're going to see what the hell the uptime is, right? You should go in, especially in a production environment, that uptime should be a ridiculously long amount of time. If it's not a ridiculously long amount of time, you need to figure out why that's rebooted in the recent past. Uh, you're going to go and you're going to look at the load average. Now, again, it's important to understand what the load average, figuring out what that number actually means can get a little complicated between uh, taking a look at all the cores and the processor, what's actually allocated for the server operation operating system, the whole nine yards, but more or less, remember, the number should be below one. If the number 
for those three numbers is below one, then you're basically fine. If it's above one, then you need to do a little Google search, you need to do a little research to figure out what that actually means. But when you're sitting there and looking at it, uh, the first number is for is the average uh, CPU re, uh, utilization over the past minute. Then the next number is for the past five minutes, the average for the past five minutes, and the average for the past 15 minutes. If all of those numbers are well below one, then basically you're fine. If it's one or above, again, go do some, some research, especially if you're having problems with your system. Past that, you can see the number of tasks that are being used. You can see the CPU utilization. You can see the memory utilization, uh, so on and so forth. But these are the basic simple things uh, that you will need to use. Again, doing basic system administration in the Linux world. Again, if you, if you set up an Apache web server, you just want to basically make sure the Apache web server is running and that's not using all your CPU, and, and, and that's about it. There's really, there's really not a lot you're going to be using with top in the real world in a production environment. So I just wanted to show you these basic things. If you're interested in the additional uh, things that are available in top, again, by all means, do the research. It is interesting, but it can be, be, be a bit difficult to explain, especially to new folks. Uh, so with that, as always, I enjoy doing this video, and I look forward to seeing you at the next one.